Okay, people. There was a patch today. As I'm sure 99% of you who are watching this video are already aware because it came out many hours ago. But the patch notes didn't come out until 6 a.m. this morning. And, um, you know, I was asleep. <laughs> and then I had to go to work like a normal person. So I missed it. But anyways, uh, today there was some fixes slash some changes that appeared. And they're important. They're about Avernus and the Blood War which we all know has been a frustrating thing to deal with lately. But they made it so that one of the heroic encounters, the Soul Coins one, doesn't have such a negative impact on performance. That has nothing to do with the Blood War, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but something that does have to do with the Blood War, the war parties that spawn, which are the Siegebreaker, Mog, and Gary, Garrick's, they now give credit to all players who participate in the kill and not just whoever gets the killing blow or does the most damage or whatever it was before, I'm assuming, the final blow. And it also now goes directly into your inventory and you don't have to pick the rings up off the floor. So um, if when you kill them, they're nice enough to just give it to you and not just throw their stuff on the floor when they die because that's just super rude. Also about Avernus, treasure maps drop more frequently. And I was originally planning to showcase this with a video in the background of me killing stuff and getting treasure maps because I had tested it out. And uh, after killing a few groups of mobs, I got two treasure maps from one group of mobs. And then I recorded for about 11 minutes and I did not get a single map. So that kind of just ruined my plan and my entire day. And here we are. I'm just the unluckiest person on the planet. But moving on, if you have ever been feared or charmed in the past by an enemy, which I am certain that you have, you should no longer be able to get stuck in power channeling or charging state, which is something that could happen sometimes, and it was very annoying. Also, for those of you who are participating in the Summer Festival, if you received a Summer Artisan last year or in the past, you can now actually get one whenever you enter the workshop this time, instead of it being like, no. The new companion that comes from the event, the little sun thingy, it now actually uh, gives you the bonuses or gives the bonuses properly. And the tutor companion now actually has one of its powers actually, you know, attack. Now mounts, two mount powers have been adjusted to do more damage so that they're more in line with the other mount powers. And those are the arcane whirlwind and infernal war machine. So if you're using either of those two combat powers, they will be better now. So congratulations. All right, those of you who are doing Zariel, not me, but for those of you who are in phase two, the Shade of Fire and Shade of Ice will now spread out whenever they're close to one another. And Zarya should no longer retain effects whenever she flies away. So you won't be seeing the zero damage pop-ups over the thin air. I mean, I've never done Zariel, but that's just what it says in the patch notes. So sorry, I can't give any more interesting dialogue there. In Lair of the Mad Mage, they have supposedly fixed the Invisible enemies, aka the the soul constructs. That was pretty annoying to be honest. Okay, for those of you who are guild leaders, you may have noticed if you attempted to leave an alliance or do something that required being a guild leader to do, that you were not able to do it and now you'll be able to do it again so you can, you know, do the guild leader stuff. But um, that's about it and as far as important changes go. If you would like to read the full ver patch note version thingy, the link is in the description as it always is. So you may decide to read if that is your thing. But if you got this far in the video, I highly doubt you will actually read them. Anyways, thank you for watching or listening or whatever. I hope you all are having a fabulous evening. It should be evening by the time this video comes out. And I have a new character. Well, it's not new, but I brought it back from the dead and I now have a fifth character over 24k. And those of you who have me on your friends list or who have watched my videos in the past probably know what class it is, but just, just be fair and guess in the comments, please. Like, if you already know, don't say anything. Because I want to know if people have it. What, what class do you think I would play? Because I play all three supports and rogue, right? So which which class, which paragon, what, what, what do you think I would play? Let me know. Okay, bye.